And maybe bugs on some of you mugs, but there ain't no bugs on me. I don't play very often because I'm mean, we be too big as getting this money. A lot of times people are not gonna see the greatness in you. Smiles Rick Roth, come on, let me. It's Real Swirl with Cards Cribs, and I'm back with another video. Huge shout out to everybody tuning in. If you aren't subscribed, smash the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and do not skip the ad. Guess where we're going? We are on our way to close, and we're finally closing this flip. We finished, I think we finished it like in September. Yeah, September. We finished the flip in September, and we're finally closing on it in January. So I'm going to give you guys a little rundown about it. If you haven't watched the videos of us doing the work on the flip, then you can go ahead and go watch those. It's, it's right before I start door that, so you go check those out. But I want to give you some guys some game on this whole flipping the house thing. I'm going to tell you straight up truth, because you know everybody, you know, in there talking about flipping the houses and doing this and doing that. They don't be telling you what really goes on in real time. So I'm going to break it down to you. So we got the house. Everything was cool. The closing went well. We got the keys. We get the house. Boom. We get in the house. We checking out everything. Like we got, we thought we had to fix little stuff. We look at the floor. We know we got to get new floor, but the flooring is crinkled by the refrigerator, refrigerator in the cabinet. So I'm thinking like, oh, they told us they had a water leak in there. The inspector told us that. Had the water leak. So we're like, okay, we're going to just put new floor. Take out the, we move the refrigerator and the whole cabinets on the right, left of the refrigerator are molded out. So now guess what that means? That means we got to get new cabinets too. So we get new cabinets, we get the floor, we got to, oh, the plywood, we had to get new plywood under there because that was molded out too. So we had to get all that stuff and everything. We got everything fixed. We got the contracts and everything. Contractors are one of the biggest things in real estate. I know people don't be thinking about this, but you're thinking about the real estate agent and all that, Lori and all that, the contractors. We had a hard time with the contractors. Some days they come, some days they don't come. We had, I had an issue with the guy and everything. He wanted me to pay him this money. I'm not paying you the money, more money until you finish the job. That's what I'm paying you. You need to pay your guys. That ain't got nothing to do with me. We had an agreement and, and the agreement needs to be followed. So that happened. Our paint and carpet guy, they come and knock out, knock out stuff. That's what they do. They knock, they knock stuff out. So all this stuff happened with the flip. Now, after we get done with everything, guess what happens then? Now we got to find the buyer. We search and we search and we search and we have three open houses. The third open house, we find this buyer here, which I'm glad we did since we have to, we didn't have to pay the, a, another real estate agent that came straight to us. So that's a good thing. So we saved some money right there. But in the meantime, in between times, what people don't tell you is you have holding costs. And the holding cost is you paying for all the bills. You gotta pay for light, you gotta pay for electricity, you gotta pay for gas, and you still have to come up with that mortgage. Don't forget about the mortgage. So we had the property, uh, we got it in July, uh, so August, September, October, November, December, January, six months. Well, it's really five months because you pay for one of the, you pay for one of the, months of the mortgage at the closing. So that, that would be skipped that month. So we have five months of mortgage payment, which is about $1,600 each month. That's just the mortgage, not including ComEd and North Shore Gas. So when you guys are flipping these houses, you wanna make sure you keep those numbers in mind because I did not keep those numbers in mind and then it lowered our profit. So I'm just here to give you guys a game on what I know and whatever I know, I'm gonna give it to you guys so you guys can use it or pass it on to somebody else. Each one teach one. But enough with the talking, baby. It's time for us to go get this guacamole. I'll see you guys when we get there. And just like that, baby, we leaving the closing right now. Everything was very successful. Everything went smooth. Now we have to go to the to drop off this check to the uh, real estate office and get, and then maybe we get our, che our, our check cut today. I'm, I'm not sure, but I'll let you guys know about that. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. I wanna talk to you guys about something serious, right? Do not, not I'm not, I'm not gonna say do not skip the ad. I was gonna say that, but I'm not saying that. Do not let people put you in a box or you do not put yourself in the box. What I mean by that is, 
you guys see me do these DoorDash videos, and I understand I like I love doing DoorDash, but you want you don't want to be a one trick pony. You don't want to be only known for one thing, which is DoorDash. We do real estate. We have a clothing line. Uh, we have the YouTube channel. We flip houses. We have rentals. All that stuff. So you guys want to we, we we chasing wealth, and now I'm going to show you guys step by step on this channel what we of what we're going to do and how we're going to do it. So you guys just want to make sure you stay tuned and lock in. And this is for those of you who want to learn who's into uh, finances and wealth um but if you just into in it for the door dad that's cool too either way as long as you walk up with may baby we cool but uh, that's what i want to tell you guys it's all about elevating and growing and if you out there and you want you have dreams and aspirations to do something or you want to try something just do it stop procrastinating stop wasting time you plan you plan with your life like i told you like i asked you you plan with your life right now stop playing with your life we only have this one life to live so live it to the fullest and do everything that you ever thought about dreamt about doing because what you don't want to do is be a woulda shoulda coulda later on so and also on another note in life you're going to meet people you're going to know people and like the people that's closer to you like your friends family and close friends and stuff they're not going to see the greatness in you they're not going to see the greatness in you as much as somebody else may see it like the people that know you they just they just don't see it because they're right there like for instance right for we're gonna go with warren buffett warren buffett kids don't look at him as warren buffett they look just look at him as their dad they don't think that he's just this thing that everybody else think that he is because they was around him so much it's just their dad to them michael jordan michael jordan has kids his kids are just they just they don't look at him as michael jordan the greatest best part that's not how you look at him just look at him as their dad so a lot of times, people are not going to see the greatness in you. So you have to just keep on going and growing. That's all you got to do. And for the ones who really walk with you, they're going to join the campaign. And the ones that don't, they're not. So always keep that in mind when you're on the road to success because there's going to be some ups and downs. But all the people who are around, see, all my people going to eat. All the ones that's around me, they're going to eat. Slowly but surely. We got my sister the 2022. That, tw that ain't 21, that's 22. We got her the 22 Equinox. That was one of my first things that I wanted to do. It's going to be a lot of more stuff to happen. So you guys want to make sure you stay tuned because it's going down. So we're about to drop off this check. We're going to get some lunch or something. We may go to the cigar lounge, smoke some cigars, drink some champagne. I don't know, but just stay tuned. Don't skip the ads. Smash the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Let's go. Baby, we here. It's time for us to eat lunch. We deposit the check. They had to go check me. Hey, busy before. Shout out to Mr. Organic. That's his saying. Busy before boy. Went, we deposited the check, we went to the office, we dropped, got that check, we did all that stuff we need to do, we took care of the paperwork, all we need to do. Now it's time for us to eat lunch. We're here at Timothy O'Tools. If you are in the Gurney area and you like wings, fry, they have a variety of different types of foods. And it's a good vibe We're here. We're going to get us some drinks, chill, eat us some food and relax. So, in my business part, I'm just talking. This is this is going to be like a motivational slash vlog slash we just close the house on it. I'm just going to kick some game sometime in this video. So make sure you stay tuned. Smash the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Don't skip the ads. But I want to tell you guys this. Watch your watch the people you hang around. Because, you know, just watch your surroundings and the people that you are around. Because you don't want to be around negative people. Because negative people will drain your energy. If you have somebody around you, or you you may be the person. I don't know if you're watching this video. You may want to stop doing this and, you know, get your life together. Not saying it like that, but get it together. If you're around somebody and all they do is talk about other people and what other people are doing, and other people this and other people that. If they doing that, then what are they doing for themselves? Because they're so busy worrying about what everybody else is doing. You worry about somebody else, you need to worry about yourself and make sure you grow and stay away from negative people who are always talking bad about people or talking negative or always complaining, always doing that stuff. Stay away from those people because you're going to, those type of mannerisms and things are just going to start to veer off on you, especially if you're around them a lot. So keep that in mind. You want to keep good company with good energy. Also, one more thing, and one thing about me, if I feel bad energies, I exit immediately. I don't want to, I don't want to be around it. I don't want your fleas. It may be bugs on some of you mugs, but there ain't no bugs on me. And we just got that money. And just like that, we are done eating. It was phenomenal, phenomenal food and phenomenal service. So if you are out here in this Gurney area, come on down to Timothy O's Tools. It's on Grand and Dilly's kind of that area. So we're waiting for our check. Once we get the check, we're going to give 
50% tip. So whatever it is, we're gonna get 50% of that for the tip. Then we're gonna go Overwatch, which is next door. We're gonna get some ice cream, so we're gonna eat that later. We do have some champagne to sip, so we're gonna sip that champagne, then later on, we might eat the ice cream. But guess what? If you are subscribed, give me a thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed, comment below and say I'm not subscribed. So I can tell you, get your life together when you out of pocket. Then, do not skip the ads. One more thing. If you guys play Call of Duty, add me. I don't play very often because I mean, we be too big as getting this money. If you do play Call of Duty, add me on Call of Duty. My name is Real Jerome, all caps, one word. Make sure you do that. Let's go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, baby. I enjoyed making the content. Uh, pop that. Pop that. Popping big balls, real professional bottle popper, baby. Popping big balls. Very need to go ahead and sponsor Rick Roth. Come on, let me sponsor one of these videos. But I see you guys tomorrow. Cause guess what? The grind don't stop to the casket drop. We're going back at it tomorrow. We back at it door dashing. And it's supposed to be freezing cold, so I'm gonna make sure I dress warm. Um, one more thing. Chase your dreams no matter the cost. Hey, it costs to be a boss, you gotta pay in full. One more thing. Don't skip the ads. Smash the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. We going, we growing, we flowing. You already know in the DDK. And I'm on my way.